good guys, this is your host, O34, back at it again with another GOT unique pick showcase. Just like last time, we're gonna go over a Pokemon that was picked only once out of all 128 teams in the GOT. Today we'll look at Porygon Z, which was picked by C-Force of the Harlem Garchompers. Porygon Z is the normal type virtual Pokemon, currently ranked BL in the Smogon meta. It's got good speed at 90 and a great special attack at 135, with some decent bulk all around. Normal has a great typing since it has a ghost team unique and only one weakness, and only two types that resist normal. However, it doesn't hit anything for super effective damage. Porygon Z can override this weakness of normal types with its most powerful ability, Adaptability, which allows it to hit for more damage on staff moves such as Tri-Attack. Download could also be useful to get a special attack boost against physically defensive mods. Finally, its last ability, Analytic, would be useful if it has slightly more bulk, but usually you'd rather have to have that ability boost. Since the Omni Boost Z move is banned, Porygon Z has to shine with the sets it used back in Gen 6. At 90 speed and with high damage, Porygon Z makes for an excellent choice scarf or choice Spectmon, either revenge killing or just wall breaking. You can also do a special version of the Double Dance set, combining Nasty Plot and Agility to sweep in the late game. You can combine this with Porygon Z's extensive move pool. Only moves like Tri Attack get boosted by adaptability, but a plus 2 Porygon Z can hit very hard with moves like Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, or Psychic. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any moves that hit Steel or Rock types for super effective damage unless it uses Hidden Power Fighting. Its supportive move pool is extensive as well, offering speed control like Thunder Wave, Trick Room, or Electro Web, as well as weather support with Rain Dance and Sunny Day. It also has a variety of other supportive moves like Trick and Gravity. And finally, if this is your Z-Mon, you can still blast people with Z Hyper Beam. Combine that with adaptability and you have a move that hits for a total of 400 BP. With that, let's move on to the interview. Since Seaforce was not available to record, I'm just going to read up his answers. My first question was, why did you pick this mon? And he replied with, Porygon Z was something I grabbed because it offered me two things I really wanted, speed control in the form of T-Wave and a powerful Scarfer. Adaptability Tri-Attack is one of the most spammable moves. Every time I send Porygon in, I click Tri-Attack on the stairs it goes. Even Steel types that resisted have to risk the burn power or freeze. And just about every week I run a Choice Scarf set. It also has the potential as a nasty plot sweeper with webs, or just as an agility sweeper. Not to mention the normal type gives it, gives it okay bulk, and you can get away with a substitute set with nasty plot and agility and mono tri attack if need be. My second question was, what are your expectations of this mod? And he said his expectations were for Porygon to come in every game and clean up anything that has less than 100% health, and if you look at the replays, it's done just that. I'm going to be looking at those later in the video. My final question was, if the mon got sniped, what would you have gotten instead? And he replied with, um, he replied saying that Digger's B was actually the mon he wanted over Porygon, but it got sniped, so he picked Porygon. I explained that Digger's B is just the mon that you can put in there and just click return every time uh, because of its huge power, and you can have double dance with SDM agility just like Porygon has nasty plot and agility. But he explained that um, if Porygon Z also got sniped, he would have gotten X Cloud which has less speed and special attack, but obviously has Boom Burst, which does a ton of damage to anything. You can just click it anytime you want. And with that, let's have a look at the replays. The first replay we'll be looking at is the Unova Conference Week 3, Seaforce versus uh, Danny, I believe. And it actually leads off with the Porygon in turn one, and we'll see what happens. Charizard transforms into Charizard Y, and Porygon Z goes out with the Thunder Wave, seemingly winning the speed tie there. But actually unbeknown to Danny, Porygon Z is scarfed in this battle. It's scarfed Thunder Wave, uh, just to trick Danny on turn one. We'll see that in a later turn. So in, a, in an outright setup war against Shuckle, you know, Duck Trio is here. The substitute gets removed by the priority bullet punch. Earthquake disappears and Danny thinks, well, I'm, I'm gonna win this. You know, I've got this fully stacked Duck Trio and out comes the Tri-Attack which is Scarf, and then he's very surprised as he'll utter in the chat right there. And Porygon Z will just try to decimate a bunch of these mons. Like the Charizard comes in, comes in but it's obviously paralyzed. And then after that, the Tapu Bulu comes in, and C4 retreats, knowing that the Tapu Bulu can live a Tri-Attack. And after that, this allows Azelf to clean up and win the game for C4. Second replay we'll be looking at today is um, Seaforce versus Lady's Eye. This is a week four battle in the Innova Conference. 
uh, and we'll see Porygon C just absolutely doing the most in this battle. So Registeel drops from its plus two Scizor superpower uh, after Choco Berry. The hidden power takes out Scizor and he sends in the Porygon Z knowing that, you know, I'm gonna take out his Registeel anyway and nothing wants to come in so the Registeel gets sacked from the Tri-Attack. Dragonite comes in and he Tri-Attacks and that damage with multi-skill is insane. The Dragon Dance is there and then lo and behold it's Scarf still outspeeds it because Dragonite is a very low base speed and it just does damage. Damage on damage on damage. Just stays in, keeps try attacking. Thunderbolt comes out, but it doesn't kill Porygon Z. Again, outspeeding the Manectric. Try attack, kills it. Just free Mons dead, turn after turn after turn after turn. And obviously, you're gonna say in here, use it again, deal 44 to Milotic, which has high special defense, and just completely clean up the game, basically. That's gonna be it for today's episode. Leave a like and subscribe if you want more of this kind of content. And we'll see you in the next episode. Peace.